I'm having such a good time at the moment, do you? I think it's in such a good wedding. You do just seem, you just seem so happy. I think it would be ridiculous for us to ignore the fact that, you know, there's, there are feelings there on both parts. Whenever I'm with you out, it's like you won't, you won't even let me touch you, you won't let me kiss you, blah, blah. And then whenever it's just you and me, we don't stop kissing and cuddling and stuff like that. You do seem too obsessed with what everyone else thinks and you're worrying about what people are saying too much. And I just think that if I'm making you so happy, then why are you letting everyone else affect your life? Do you agree with what I'm saying or not at all? With everybody talking about it and asking questions constantly, doesn't help by the fact that you tell everybody everything. But I don't because you've got the biggest mouth in Essex. No, listen, people are aware of how happy we make each other. I don't want the whole world knowing because of this is my own journey and it's like every step that I take, everyone questions it because of everyone knows about it. And I hate that. I hate everybody asking me and questioning me. I feel rushed to make a decision of something that I don't even know yet. I need to breathe and I just feel like everyone's suffocating me. I don't know why we have to put a label on it or why we have to... I just think if you're enjoying... Because you talk to everyone about it, Arge, that's the thing. If that's going to happen between us naturally, so do I don't want the whole world you, you knowing about it. Just no, friends. I'm not saying it's just secret, but you should let things evolve naturally without fucking shouting it everywhere before... Like, no, you're just stupid. You, you, yeah, no. you just don't play things right. The end of our relationship was basically about trust, wasn't it? And I'm saying to you, please, can you keep things like this between us? And then you're going and telling everyone my business. Well, really, that's not the right steps, is it, Arge? I'm sorry, I know you're a private person. Uh, I, probably, I probably don't think at times, I don't always say the right things, do the right things, but it boils down to the fact that I get excited about it because I'm so proud of you and, you know, I, I do love you. And I'm sorry. I don't know why, why, why we can't just carry on the way things are going. Yeah, but fun. how can we carry on the way you are? Then we basically are in a relationship and that's not what I want. So what you want to do is just cut me out of your life again? Completely. No, oh my God, not at all. I love hang it, having you around, but I think this whole like whirlwind that we've got caught up in in the past four days, I think that like it needs to just go back to like being friends. I don't think you could ever just call us friends. Because we're yeah, not just friends, It needs to be that we? again. Well, basically, you know, when I got a really nice new suit, yeah. I've only got a left in England, mate. What? You were just a... <laughs> this meant to be my price. You won the bingo. I mean, you're a lucky boy. Got to say, hats off to you.